Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. And today we're gonna to talk about some changes to the AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator Exam. These changes were announced today, March the 1st, 2021, go into effect March the 26th, which is just over three weeks away. Now, we do know that Microsoft Ignite starts tomorrow, March 2nd through March 4th. And so traditionally, Microsoft always introduces changes to their exams around Microsoft Ignite. And so this is no exception and no surprise. Now, one thing they've done for these exam objectives, they used to do side-by-side uh, -side markups where you can see the uh, strikeouts where things have been deleted and red markings where things have been added. What they've done now is just done this comparison with no markings. I've taken this PDF myself and I've started to add some highlights here. So let's look over the changes. Now the good news is that I don't see much has changed. They removed a couple topics, they've added a couple topics, they've taken what might have been a very vague generalized topic and broken it up into more specific parts. Not a lot of new technologies have been added. This is a very minor change in my view. So if we scroll down, we can see under the first section, this manage multiple directories was on the old exam. It is does not appear on the new exam. And so that's a requirement that's been removed. If we go down the, to the subscriptions, they've just changed up the way they talk about tags here. Instead of it says apply tags, it says apply and manage tags. Scrolling down even further, actually storage replication has been moved from the storage account section to the uh, storage section. And the other one with the blob object replication has also been moved. So they just move things around uh, between sections. It has been added this configure access to Azure files is a new requirement. Another moving around the high availability and scale sets have been moved from their own section into configure VMs. And they've changed, they're talking about of virtual machine extensions more generically instead of uh, custom script extensions. So they've sort of more generalized extensions instead of talking about scripts, they're talking about uh, in general. And when we get down to app services, they had a very vague a condition about app services, create and configure app service, create and configure app service plans. And now they've just um, blown that out to talk about scaling, networking, deployment. To me, understanding app services in general had to do with scaling, networking, and deployment before anyway. So these are not new requirements. They are talking about security, which I, I don't know if that was necessarily covered before, domain names and backups. So app services have a couple of new topics. Virtual machines, pretty much the same. They are talking about um, endpoints and private endpoints which as we know is a growing area within Azure networking. Um, and that's pretty much it. They did remove something to do with load balancing, but I don't really see that as a real, I mean, what are they gonna do? Not ask about uh, rules within load balancers. That's uh, there's still a lot of topics about load balancing on here. And they did remove a create and configure VPNs, but they do talk about VPN gateways. So how can you talk about VPN gateways and not VPNs? So again, not, not much going on there. So in my mind, one topic has been removed, a couple of topics have been added, and that's pretty much it. Pretty uh, simple changes to this exam. I'm not anticipating if you are in the middle of studying for this, this doesn't change your plan in any way. I don't wouldn't modify your date. I wouldn't take the exam earlier or take the exam later. I think you're fine if you're in the middle of process of studying for this. Uh, my analysis is that these changes are minor. Uh, again, I th wish Microsoft would be clearer in terms of exactly what's changing. Uh, I have to go through and read through this and mark it up with my own highlighter here, but that's Microsoft for you, I guess. Anyways, uh, this has been Scott. Thanks a lot for checking this out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them uh, in the comment section, and I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to check out my course, my AZ-104 course on Udemy in the link below. Thanks a lot.